Um, how long does it take to start tackling efficiently in the NFL, especially in recent years when preseason activity has become so light? I have no idea how to answer that question. I'm sure there's science that, that tells you it's going to be a number of games or a number of snaps or a number of, of full contact practices. We will see week, uh, you know, at the end of week one. Is that the, not necessarily just this team, but I mean. No, it's an overemphasis every, you know, at, for probably for every team. You know, because there's on, only so much that you want to do to your own team. You know, it's not like you want to take your guys down to the ground each and every time. Um, but at the same time, you know, you try to implement tackle, tackle drills. You try to, uh, to create a correct simulation on how to, you know, correct, ham, uh, correct helmet placement, correct, you know, squaring up the shoulders, tracking the hip, whatever it is, but it doesn't give you the full finale, right? Um, just like hunting a quarterback, you know, there's a pocket that you have to respect while you're in practice, and then in game, there is no such thing. It's all about disrespect. And so, obviously, I'm setting you up for, I mean, is this opponent from, from whatever you've watched on tape so far? It's going to have to be. Absolutely. Game? Absolutely. Um, for some reason, you know, we're going to this game and we're not talking about Derrick Henry being the best back this last three years. He was hurt last year and he still finished, what, top five in rushing yards? <laughs> uh, and he missed six games, seven games. So had he had a full season, he would have been the three-time reigning champ, most likely. Um, that's no knock on Josh Jacobs. That's just how astounding Derrick Henry has been. Um, I think that with this game plan, we're going to have to come in. We're going to have to play things tightly and, and know that this is going to be a heavy emphasis on tackling, run, everybody ganging up on Derrick Henry in the backfield type game. You know, that said, how do you guys get back to being the run defense you've been? Um, you know, the whole idea of training camp is to play as fast as we can for as long as we can. Um, for it all to come up to this week one, 60 minutes, four quarters. And I think that, you know, if we're all on the same page, we'll pick up right where we left off or, or, and or be better. You still get excited to play? I mean, that's like asking a, a kid under eight if he still gets excited about being in a candy shop. Every freaking time. I mean, come on, there's, there's, there's still practices where I can't believe that I've made it this far in the league. Um, I was sitting there today at practice and you know whatever whatever we're doing i'm like bro i'm excited to even be on the field here uh running racing around dancing on the sideline there's nothing better than playing football the way it's supposed to be played the nuance yeah absolutely i don't know about the small moments i appreciate the big moments but it takes a lot of small moments to get to a big moment doesn't it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. think about that one jd <laughs> Camp to get to know some of these uh, guys in the defensive interior. What's what's like the thing that really sticks out about that group collectively? Uh, you know they're they're very aggressive, like to get vertical up the field. Um, and in years prior, we've been very very sound for our linebackers. It, it feels like our our linebackers are lighter, more athletic, more experienced, and you know we're, we're going to be uh, switching some things up. What do you think of the spin move for Zeke? Come on, if one highlight isn't going to define me, I love, I love the way that he's playing. Um, and what was he? He, was, he might have been second or third in on that, on that sack. Yeah. Um, which just means it's going to be a whole lot of fun my way. Uh, I think that he has a lot of talent, and we're, we're, sh we're shaping and molding a mentality. You know, you said it was going to take you a little while before you put a judgment on the defensive line. It's been a little while, so what do you think? You see how I haven't put a judgment on the defensive <laughs> line. Yeah, yeah, just because we've, we've been walking around with a bubble wrap around our foreheads for five, six weeks doesn't mean that we know exactly who we are. Um, it'll, take, it'll take a little bit longer, um, but I, I love where we're going. I love guys like Colin Saunders, who is, is aggressively joyous about his role, about uh, playing the run. Um, as well as shows a little bit of, of, of jig in him when he gets to the pass. Uh, I love guys like Brian Brzee because he's he's got so much talent. If we can make him live up to his potential, he's going to be a monster. Uh, I love how uh, Isaiah Foskey has corralled and became a physical defensive end in this short four or five weeks that he was in camp. Um, that's only going to bode well for the future. Uh, I, there's no, probably nobody on our D line I won't talk highly of. I mean, the way Peyton has taken to this off, this off season, he's had a great camp, um, slimmed down and, and embraced his roles. And I feel like he's going to have one of his. Clearly, he's going to have the best season up to date. But I think he can have uh, a monster season as well. Talk about Carl Granderson and uh, Malcolm Roach with this type of uh, type type of camps that they've had. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if I've seen a, 
an interior D lineman have the type of camp that Malcolm Roach has had. That's huge on all accounts.